We think we know the story of our planet, a slow climb from stone tools to space travel, all within a tiny slice of time we call history. But what if that story is wrong? What if long before the pyramids, long before writing, and even long before we think civilization was possible? Earth had already been home to an advanced society, one that rose, thrived, and then vanished so completely that almost no trace remains. We live in a world where history feels like a straight line. You open a textbook and the story begins with simple hunters and gatherers, then villages, then kingdoms, then modern nations. It all makes sense on paper. A neat timeline that suggests human civilization only began a few thousand years ago. But sometimes, the neatest stories are the most misleading, because if you stop and think about it, that timeline isn't based on knowing everything that's ever happened. It's based on what little evidence we've found and how far back that evidence currently goes. Could Earth have once hosted an advanced society 100,000 years ago? The idea sounds impossible at first. We imagine that people back then were barely surviving, using stone tools, hunting animals, and living in small groups. But that's because our image of the past is built on what we've dug up so far. The problem is, the further back you go, the less there is to find. Over 100,000 years, wind, rain, ice, earthquakes, and shifting land erase almost everything. Even things we build today, skyscrapers, cars, bridges, wouldn't last anywhere close to that long without constant care. Think about it. If our own civilization ended tomorrow and 100,000 years passed before anyone dug through the ruins, what would be left? Metal rusts, concrete crumbles, plastic breaks down in sunlight. Forests grow over cities. Oceans rise and fall. In that much time, whole continents change shape. In many places, even the ground itself gets recycled through plate tectonics. The truth is almost nothing survives that kind of timescale. So when archaeologists say there's no evidence for an advanced society that far back, that doesn't necessarily mean it didn't exist. If we could step into a time machine and set the dial to 100,000 BCE, the first thing we'd notice is that Earth would feel both familiar and alien. The continents would roughly be in the same places, but the coastlines would be different. Vast areas we know today as underwater would be dry land because so much water was locked up in massive ice sheets. This was during the last ice age, a colder period in which glaciers covered much of North America, Northern Europe, and parts of Asia. The world's climate was harsher but not uniformly frozen. The tropics still had warm regions. Deserts still existed and grasslands stretched over areas that are now forests or farmland. Humans were already here. Anatomically, modern Homo sapiens had been around for at least 200,000 years by this point, sharing the planet with other hominins like Neanderthals in Europe and Denisovans in parts of Asia. There were no cities, at least none that we know of, but people were skilled hunters and foragers. They made tools from stone, bone, and wood, used fire, and likely had languages complex enough to share detailed information. But here's where things get interesting. Our picture of these people as purely primitive comes from the artifacts we've found. Tools, shelters, and art made from materials that last. The idea of an advanced society existing long before humans isn't just a topic for science fiction fans or conspiracy theorists. In fact, it has been seriously considered by scientists. In 2018, two researchers, Gavin Schmidt, a climate scientist from NASA, and Adam Frank, an astrophysicist from the University of Rochester, published a paper exploring what they called the Silurian Hypothesis. The name was a playful reference to a reptilian race from the British science fiction series, Doctor Who. But the question they posed was real. If an industrial civilization had existed on Earth millions of years before humans, how would we detect it today? Their focus was on the geological record. They pointed out that the survival of physical artifacts, buildings, machines, or even bones over millions of years is extremely unlikely. But certain large-scale environmental changes might last far longer. For example, our modern civilization is leaving behind signals in the form of unusual chemical traces in the atmosphere, soil, and oceans. The Silurian hypothesis suggests that if a civilization existed 100,000 years ago or even far earlier, the best chance of detecting it might not be in physical ruins, but in subtle anomalies in ancient sediment or ice cores. If an advanced society had thrived on Earth 100,000 years ago, what would actually remain for us to find today? The answer depends on the kind of civilization it was and the materials it used. One possible trace could be unusual chemical signatures in the soil or rock layers from that time. If the society used large-scale metallurgy, mined certain rare minerals, or created synthetic compounds, 
some of those byproducts might remain locked in sediments. Another sign might be shifts in the carbon cycle. An industrial civilization tends to alter its planet's atmosphere. If ancient people burned large amounts of biomass or fossil fuels, it could have caused spikes in greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide or methane. Archaeology is powerful when it comes to piecing together the past, but it has its limits, especially when we try to reach as far back as 100,000 years. One of the biggest challenges is depth. Over long time scales, soil builds up. Rivers deposit sediment and volcanic ash or wind-blown dust can bury landscapes under many meters of material. Funding and priorities also play a role. Research is often driven by specific questions, and the idea of an advanced civilization existing 100,000 years ago is not widely accepted in mainstream archaeology. If an advanced society existed 100,000 years ago, the best chance of finding its remains isn't in the open fields or deserts we usually imagine. It would be in places that have been shielded from the constant wear and reshaping of Earth's surface. One possibility is deep underground. Natural caves, sealed chambers or human-made tunnels could protect artifacts from erosion, weather and plant growth. Another promising location is under ice. Large parts of Greenland and Antarctica have been covered by ice sheets for hundreds of thousands of years. Perhaps the most intriguing possibility lies beneath the ocean. During the last ice age, sea levels were far lower, exposing vast coastal plains where humans could have lived and thrived. When the ice melted and seas rose, these areas were flooded, turning them into continental shelves now hidden underwater. The submerged landscapes could be home to ancient river valleys, hills and plateaus that once supported life. One of the most dramatic ways Earth reshapes itself over time is through changes in sea level. During the last ice age, so much water was locked up in massive glaciers that the oceans were more than 100 meters lower than they are today.